Okay, my colleague Shireen Elizabeth now joins us to bring us more context on all of these comments. Shireen, I'm actually going to come to you first to understand the Prime Minister's uh, comments on the economy. Then we'll walk our audiences through his comments on the G20 and then we'll come back to you with questions about the G20 and what the Prime Minister had to say. So first, Shireen, we're just going to take to you questions about the economy. I want to focus on particular in the, on the Prime Minister's comments about inflation. I'm asking you this because, as our audiences possibly know, in July we saw retail inflation reach a 15-month high. And this is something that has very strongly affected consumers of all class brackets, all economic brackets across the country. How has the Prime Minister said the government is trying to tackle that? Well, uh, the, government, the Prime Minister in this ex exclusive interview to CNN News Network has in fact uh, made it very clear that while globally everyone is suffering with the inflation because when we talk about uh, globally the situation of course uh, is a situation where the layoffs are happening, where the inflation is all time high. Uh, but keeping that in mind, after the pandemic, India has in fact been able to recover very well. He has in fact been saying all this is, has been possible only because a stable government has has in fact been given uh, to the country and because uh, the BJP government has been elected for uh, twice uh, in fact uh, in Lok Sabha election and that is why a stable government has in fact been given to the people and that is why our growth in every sector is being seen is what the Prime Minister has told in this exclusive interview. Now this interview has already made a lot of buzz. We are seeing already that the opposition, opposition leaders are in fact uh, attacking the Prime Minister on each of these points because when we talk about the inflation, Toya, uh, he has in fact been saying that how the inflation, they are trying to bring down the inflation and uh, part of it has in fact been how they have brought down the prices of LPG. That was a gift on Raksha Bandhan to which the Congress party has in fact been already calling this nothing but Jumla saying that the Prime Minister knows that in another six months when the Lok Sabha elections are going to be held, he is going to be defeated and that is why uh, such you know policies and such methods are being now coming in from uh, the Prime Minister is the claim that is coming in from the opposition. Not okay. just that, we have already seen reactions from, uh, uh, not just from Congress, we are seeing reactions from the TMC also saying that not just this, there were several promises that were made by the Prime Minister. So where are those promises? So with this interview, the Prime Minister has been saying that we have made a stable government, but clearly that the opposition are not really agreeing with the points that has been made by the Prime Minister at this time. Okay, Shireen, just stay with us. We're going to come back to you now to ask you about G20 in just a second. Let's focus first on what it is that the Prime Minister had to say when it came to the G20 summit that's going to be taking place right here in New Delhi on the 9th and 10th. As you know, India has been the president of the G20. It's a rotational presidentship. He's been the president over the last few months. Now, in regards to the G20 presidency, the Prime Minister said, we follow Sabka Saath, Sabka Vikas as an idea. He's also said India has a lot to offer in many sectors when it comes to the kind of partnerships it can enter into with the countries that are attending the G20. Remember, there are trade deals that are already on the table in terms of discussion with both the UK and the EU as we speak. He's also said when India grows, the whole world grows. He said further, I'll just bring you the next point, he said that India's growth is marked by green development. And remember, green development is a central theme of the entire G20. It has been a central theme over the last few years, the need to push forward on environmental goals. Now, he's also said India's growth is a human-centric approach. Uh, he said India can serve as a model for other countries. This is something you've heard the Prime Minister say before, that India is a model for the entire Global South in particular. He's also said India's growth advances the interests of, and we just talked about this, he said it advances the interests of the Global South and that advancing the interests of the developing world is a primary priority of the country. He said the Troikas are all within the developing world. What is the Troika? The Troika is the three countries the country that just hosted the G20, the country that is hosting the G20 and the country that will host the G20. This year, that is Indonesia from the past, last year, India of course and Brazil next year. It's the first time that all three countries have belonged to the developing world. Therefore, he said that the Troika can amplify the voice of the developing world. Now, let's go back to my colleague Shireen to understand 
more on this. Shireen, can you just tell our audiences, there has been much focus on the idea that India can be the Vishwamitra or the friend of all when it comes to actually making other countries arrive at a consensus. As our audiences know, arriving at a consensus is the key goal of the G20, releasing that statement at the end of the summit that all the participating countries agree on, that is an uphill challenge. How can India use its Vishwamitra abilities as it believes to actually encourage other countries to reach some kind of consensus? What do the Prime Minister have to say about that? Well, already India uh, has been doing a lot when it comes to, uh, you know, upholding the image, the Vishwamitra image that you have been talking about. Because when we talk about G20 and Global South, we have seen how the Prime Minister also in the interview has been talking about how they have been, in fact, uh, including uh, the Global South as well, making sure that the African Union also has a voice. Uh, and also, like you mentioned, Troika, India, uh, uh, Indonesia and Brazil, how their voices are going to, uh, Troika is going to amplify their voices. So as uh, you know, the Vishwamitra image is something that India has been maintaining and for the last nine months, the G20 presidency of India has been able to uh, put forth a vibrant democracy, has been put, able to put forth a diverse culture to all the foreign delegates from across the world. So we have seen how India has been able to connect this bridge uh, to make sure that uh, all these uh, issues that are there in the regions, because after the pandemic, the uh, in last last uh, G20 event in Bali, we have seen how pandemic was one of the main issues that was discussed. And keeping that in mind, we have once again, the theme of G20 this time has been worth one earth, one family. And uh, together only we can proceed is what uh, India's uh, top, uh, slogan, India's uh, uh, you know tagline has been. So that is what we are seeing at this moment that in this nine months altogether, we have put forth a bridge that a, a part to in fact be called as a soft power globally we have been able to uh, put forth uh, you know a situation where all the foreign delegates have been coming they have been seeing the diverse culture of India have been able to connect a bridge between the international community to make sure that going forward uh, we take forward all the voices that are not being heard and that is exactly what the Prime Minister has also said in the uh, uh, in the interview as well that global south is something that uh, they have been, in fact, putting, uh, you know, much focus on. Uh, they have been making sure that the African Union has also a say when it comes to the G20. So all those things have been incorporated. And now with the finale of G20, it is going to be more stronger and more successful is uh, what uh, the Prime Minister has, in fact, been saying. Okay, Shireen, thank you for bringing us that context. Our last interview...